Hello everyone, and welcome back to the House of Transport podcast. Today, we're going to be doing a construction update of the Broadway subway in Vancouver. It has been under construction since 2020, and will be completed sometime in late 2025. Today, we are going to be walking down the entire length of the extension, from its start at Emily Carr University, all the way down to its terminus at Arbuta Street. Before we start, I'd like to shout out my friend Kanji, who accompanied me on this six kilometer tour of the Broadway subway. I'd also like to thank him for helping lead the research associated with this project. He will be narrating half the stations and I'll be doing the other half. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First, some quick background info. The Broadway subway is an extension of the Millennium Line from its current terminus, VCC Clark, all the way to Arbuta Street. This is meant to help relieve congestion on the crowded 99B line, which is the single busiest bus line in the US or Canada, with 57,240 daily boardings in 2019, and it still had 29,000 daily boardings in the height of the pandemic. Additionally, the Broadway subway will serve several important destinations, including the Mount Pleasant, Fairview, and Kitsilano neighborhoods, along with City Hall and Vancouver General Hospital. Finally, the extension will slash the travel time from Commercial Broadway to Arpita Street from around 20 minutes, depending on the time of day, to a consistent 12 minutes when factoring in the extra minute of travel time from Commercial Broadway to VCC Clark, and the travel time shown on the poster. Oh, it is. It definitely is. But, but it still has a very stop there. Between the current VCC Clark Station and the future Great Northern Way Emily Carr University Station, a 700 meter elevated section of the Broadway extension is being built. At the time of shooting the photos, there isn't too much going on, with this section not progressing all that far. Going a bit further down to Carolina Street, we see foundations being dug for columns. A few of the future columns have already have steel forms that will be cast into concrete, forming the columns. According to the latest construction timeline, the elevated section should be finished around mid to late 2023. The first stop on the Broadway subway extension is Great Northern Way, Emily Carr University. It will be located at the intersection of Great Northern Way and Thornton Street. Currently, the area around the station is mostly residential to the south, and light industrial, commercial, and residential uses to the north, east, and west. The station has been progressing along nicely, with the concrete forms laying out the tracks and platforms being poured at the time of recording the clips. It is also the launching point for the TBMs, which necessitated the station to be dug as an open pit station. At the time of filming the voiceover, the first TBM is one to two months away from being launched, while the second TBM will be launched sometime this fall. This station connects to the aforementioned Emily Carr University, as well as the 84 bus line. Additionally, there is a development proposed on top of the station headhouse. However, we have not gotten a confirmation whether this proposed development would be even pushed through, let alone approved by the Vancouver City Council. Mount Pleasant Station, along with the four following stations, will be built cut and cover. The station will be located at the intersection of Broadway and Main Street. Currently, the neighborhood consists of mostly low-density commercial with some mid-rises scattered here and there. Additionally, to the northwest of the intersection lies a light industrial hub that plays a critical role in employment for the city of Vancouver. In terms of transit operation, the area is currently home to three trolley bus routes as they converge at the intersection of Kingsway and Main Street, located 200 meters north of the station. At the time of filming, there aren't any proposed developments to go on top of the station. By the time this footage was recorded, the traffic deck was completely finished and the station excavation was making some progress, though there wasn't any construction work that we could make out. Our next station is Broadway City Hall. It is located at the corner of Broadway and Canby Streets. 
Currently, the area is predominantly low-rise commercial and medium-density residential, with a couple of mid- and high-rise buildings. In terms of transit operations, three diesel bus routes and one trolley bus route serves the area, with the trolley bus route being relocated to 12th Avenue as part of the subway project. It will be the deepest station on the extension, with a depth of 20 meters or 66 feet deep, so that it can dive beneath the Canada line. At the time of filming, the road deck is almost finished, with three lanes open to traffic and a fourth one almost done. Station excavation is making some progress, just like with Mount Pleasant, but it seems to not have reached sufficient depth yet. Surprisingly, there will only be one station entrance by the time the Broadway subway opens, something that will likely have to be fixed in the coming years as more and more people use the station to access the area around it. However, this shouldn't be too much of a problem in the short term, since most people will use the station as an internal transfer point between the Canada and Millennium lines. Additionally, a new city hall campus is planned in the block that the city owns around the station, with a mall or some sort of retail center possibly included in the development. Oak VGH is located between Broadway City Hall and South Granville. It will connect to the Vancouver General Hospital, the largest hospital in the province. The road deck is progressing along but has yet to be completed. Our next station is South Granville. The station is located at the corner of Broadway and Granville Street. Currently, the area is predominantly mid-rise commercial with some offices. In terms of transit operations, three trolley bus and two diesel routes serve the area. This station is progressing along nicely, with the traffic deck already complete and rock breaking beginning. Work is beginning on the station headhouse and the development which will sit atop it. This development will also contain the tallest building on the entire Broadway corridor, which will be around 39 stories tall, and will be the only development with the station integrated into it from day one. It's also worth noting that the South Granville station area will see among the most change on the entire Broadway corridor. According to the Broadway plan, up to 30 to 40 stories are allowed in the immediate area surrounding the station, with significant amounts of density allowed in other sections of the corridor, especially to the west and north of Broadway. Arbutus will be the western terminus of the Broadway extension. This is where the 99B line will get truncated to. The new station connects to the Arbutus Greenway, a former interurban rail line that now operates as a multi-use pathway for pedestrians and cyclists going north-south. At the time of filming, the traffic is still being worked on, with no lanes of the traffic deck open. Excavation of the station pit is progressing, but it is still in its early stages compared to other stations due to its furthest location from the TBMs. There aren't any major developments planned around the station yet, but the densities allowed are significant. A maximum of 30 stories is allowed directly around the station, whereas south of Broadway, buildings can range between 15 to 20 stories. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.